Game Young, Ray, Bree, Productions. We really hope that you gon' have a happy holiday We coming with some more bullshit The girls bring it right Don't it like that video and drop a comment now Cause when you see what we talking about Them some words we ain't gon' have to say We have you smiling like I can't believe they said that Wonder where your shawty been hiding This where your girl at If you can't hate people We just gon' take your phone back OMB game boss Stop it we all that Hey, what up Bree? What up Ray? Hey, happy holiday What up you two? Hey, oh shit I just smashed my finger with my phone Hey I'm Bree. And I'm Ray. And we back at it again with some bullsh. Y'all, this is a Q&A, Q&A, Q&A. And for all of you newcomers, you know what I'm saying? Let me make this announcement now. Like, sometimes, guys, like, y'all ask why we be having on the same clothes and we post videos, <laughs> like, days later and things like that. It's because Raven and I both have jobs. Like, outside of YouTube, we have actual jobs and we have to actually link together. So we record a couple videos within the same day so that we can spread them out until we can link again. You know what I'm saying? Or we have, like, you know, our own best friend time where we don't even feel like being recorded. You know what I'm saying? But we still have content for you guys. So, so we're just trying to make sure we stay consistent so y'all don't have to get over us dressing the same Period. videos because it's all we record all in the same day we don't let's get this out the way we do not live together anymore y'all we plan on moving together in may so when may comes you won't have to see so much of this mm -hmm. but y'all gotta let us get there we don't live, we don't even live close to each other we stay about 40 minutes away from each other so y'all have to be patient think about all of that y'all don't understand it's rough we both work 40 hours a week but we work a lot indeed i work on the weekends and she don't just imagine how hard this is like this is not easy right i be having to like come over here on weekdays and stuff like that after work we tired we, you know what i'm saying listen we, and then we have to come and be perky so y'all just got to give us the benefit of the doubt but without further ado we do have this q a what are some of your favorite tv shows to binge watch also did you have any favorite youtubers who influenced you back in the day such as flip on day the kids star studology one-on-one Studology 101 really did influence me. I used to watch Flip on Deck every single day. I don't know if y'all know who that is. Obviously, whoever Aaliyah is, you do because you brought her up. Flip on Deck used to be like a little stud. I don't know who Flip on Deck is. She did music and she used to be a stud. She used to do YouTube. Me and my good friend at the time when I was in like seventh grade used to watch Flip on Deck all day, every day. So, yes. Um, but yeah, Studology 101 is uh, somebody I looked up to. We actually are cool with DZ, so shout out to DZ. Yeah, DZ. Shout out to you. That's the bro. Outside of that though, like as far as influence, I wouldn't say they influenced us to do YouTube. YouTube is just, YouTube is YouTube. Studology 101, they just started like really, really being consistent again. Flip on Deck, I don't even know if Flip on Deck still do YouTube. That jump was when I was in seventh grade, y'all. I done graduated college. So that was a long time ago. Um, um, I'll admit, Studology gave, uh, gave me a lot of unanswered questions for me um, growing up as a young LGBT Flip person. Deck. You know Flip what I'm saying? Flip on Deck did the same thing for me. So yeah. Um, favorite TV shows to binge watch? Um, I ain't got none right now because I done binge watched everything that I like. <laughs> Scandal was one for me. Power. I could watch Power all day. Lately, I've been watching Drake and Josh Ross on Hulu. And I've watched that when I was younger too, but I binge watch it now because I be bored. There's a show on YouTube that I just started watching. It's called Hanson vs. Predator. They catch child predators. I know that sounds crazy to watch, but it's like really interesting because people are really sick. Um, it's okay because I used to I watched the stuff on um on Netflix about the uh, prisoners and stuff like that. Yeah. Why I'd have no idea, but it's intriguing. So yeah, so you just kind of watch stuff like that. But yeah, Netflix is my life. I don't I really don't watch TV like that. What is the most important trait you look for in someone's personality? Probably the drive. You have to have a drive. I don't want nobody who's just stuck in one mentality and is content with where they are. I need somebody who's driven to be the best them that they can be. Mm -hmm. I would have to say intelligence. Um, you have to be smart. I pride myself on being smart, so it's like I need somebody that's smart as me or even smarter just so they can push me to be better. Like, when it comes to me and Raven talking and stuff like that, this girl be asking me why am I using big words, you know what I'm saying? But the thing is, me and Raven compliment each other because the big words that I'm using, Raven start using the next day. So, it is what it is. So, I need somebody that's going to help me be better or I can help them too. So Brielle's vocabulary is very extended, y'all. And although I'm, I'm pretty smart, my vocabulary hasn't really been extended until I started hanging out with her. But, like, I teach her more things as far as, like, statistics and, and, and numbers and stuff like that. Yeah. But her vocabulary, phenomenal, y'all. 
<laughs> what advice would you give your younger self? By the way, I love your video. Shout out to Just Lee on Snapchat. It's hard because I don't live my life with regrets. So it's like nothing I could say I regret doing that I would tell myself, my younger self, like, oh, do better of this. You know what I'm saying? I don't regret anything, but if I had to tell my younger self anything, it would probably be just to never give up on yourself. Never give up on yourself and always give everything the best that you got. I feel like if I would have gave more of me into certain situations, the outcome would have been more positive. Um, I think that I would tell my younger self that it's not that deep. And I say that because me and Raven have been through like anger issues. You know what I'm saying? Like not towards each other, but like in other situations and in life and stuff like that. And I feel like I would I would want to tell myself like, listen, baby, it's not that deep. It's not. Like it's going to be okay in the end. I promise you it is. So why are you even mad right now? Right. Opinions on innies or outies? That's a belly button if y'all need it. Um, I like innies. Um, if it's an Audi, it would have to be like them, the neutral Audis, like in the middle, not like out. I've never even been asked this. I don't have an opinion. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't have an opinion on whether or not you're, you have an in or Audi. Well, I have a thing for bellies. So like, like when it comes to like, the, like a girl that I'm dating, I like their stomach. So I'm very observant. And I can tell you that one thing I never paid attention to was an in or an Audi. Cause most of the girls I've ever dated had their belly button pierced. So mm -hmm. I don't really have an opinion. Um, what is your favorite thing about each other? By the way, I love you so much. We love you too, Lonnie.k. We really do. My favorite thing about Bree, I don't know, there's so much that I love about my best friend, y'all. I think, I just, I don't know. It's a lot, y'all, y'all gonna make me go into our love story. <laughs> My biggest thing that I love about Raven is her loyalty. At the end of the day, Raven has my back no matter what. And I, and I love that because I, I haven't had somebody like that. And, and it's crazy because it's like I draw conclusions when it comes to life. And I feel like I was looking for that loyalty in my relationships. That's why I was always in one. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now that I have my best friend, though, it's like relationships are obsolete to me as far as searching for the loyalty you know what i'm saying because at the end of the day i feel like if you do me wrong i don't care i got my best friend in it at the end of the day so it's like so bye mm, my favorite thing about brie that i guess that i will talk about is i like how she levels me out she keeps my mind together like if i'm doing wrong or if i'm about to do wrong or if i say something stupid or whatever the case may be if i'm feeling spiteful or whatever she'll keep me together like she'll be like no 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 it doesn't even matter like her delivery because we don't ever do each other harm like i would never just be disrespectful she'll never disrespect for disrespect me and vice versa but even if she's coming like no nah, you sound dumb this 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 and that if it's like her going off in a sense like it's just i don't know like i can appreciate it because there's a lot of decisions that i might have made that i probably shouldn't know but you know she keep me together like she made me think twice like okay you know what maybe i'm tripping right now or maybe I should let this go because it ain't that deep or it's not that serious or whatever the case may be. So I'm just going to have to go with that. Here's here's a good one, y'all. I'm dead. Have you guys ever been intimate before? Like got drunk, got frisky. Have you two ever looked at each other in that way? Hell yeah. It's like, I'm just like... <laughs> Like, let me not get that confused, y'all. No. Never in our lives. I don't know how many times me and Brie has been drunk together and even slept in the same bed. Like, yeah. she'll be at one end of the bed, her feet will be touching my head and vice versa. Like, the frisky, the friskiest, is that the word? Friskiest? Friskiest. We'll say that. Um, the most frisky that me and Raven have ever been to each, um, each other is like touching each other booty a little bit. And mm -hmm. that's just because she got a big butt and... <laughs> Who ain't gonna touch that thing? We do the same stuff we do on camera. Like if like she fake kiss it, wants to kiss me or or like we touch on each other. Like that's it's nothing. Yeah, like I've never looked at Brielle in that way ever in my whole. Not even before we were friends. Right? Have I ever has it ever crossed my mind to date Brielle? Mm -hmm. Like y'all got y'all gotta let that one go. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> y'all just, just really want us to do some things. We are best friends and that's okay. That is okay. <laughs> kiss, marry, or kill. I'm pretty sure it's like, what is it? Kill, marry, or F word? Yeah. But we, we could do the kiss, marry, kill. Beyonce, Rihanna, and Nikki. P.S. I love you, niggas. Morgan Turnquist. We love you too. I'm gonna have to kill off Rihanna. Don't, don't get me wrong, guys. Rihanna is beautiful and she seems like a great woman. But she just seemed like she would be girlfriend material, not wife material. So I think I would marry Beyonce, kill off Rihanna, get tear it. Nikki down. So we doing the F word. I'm doing the F word. I know the beehive gonna hate me. <laughs> <laughs> the beehive about to come for me and I know it. I'm about to kill Beyonce, y'all. Oh my, Lanta! <laughs> Beyonce's amazing, very talented woman, but I've never been. That is Queen B. Oh, you're the beehive come. That is Queen B. <laughs> okay, I probably 
gonna kill Beyonce. At this point, I'll probably kill Nicki because Nicki Minaj has been nothing but embarrassing to the rap community lately. I feel like she can be embarrassing in my bed. She's and everything about her is fake. I would probably marry Beyonce because Beyonce seems like she could be a wife. And I'll just do the nasty to Rihanna because she think that's what she's there for and I, it's real. And so. I understand that, but I just feel like Nicki can get nasty. I think Rihanna can too. I don't know. The mood is set. Ha ha. So you already know what's next. Ha ha. Yeah! <laughs> Y'all know the skin song. That song was nasty. You are stupid, bro. Um, have you guys ever tried dating? No. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just gonna skip that now. What do you guys think of Mexican females and Mexican females? I never thought about it. They never came across me for me to date them. I've dated mixed girls, but that was like black and white, not like... I've never had any bad experiences with a Mexican female. Puerto Ricans, I've had bad encounters with them. Not even on a dating level, but just the disrespect because they're so strong-minded and, well, at least the ones I met. So I don't really have like an opinion for real. I mean, I would, I'm not gonna say no off the bat. I would just have to meet one that changes my mind as far as like the negative experiences I have had with some Hispanic. I don't think I've ever like, encountered Hispanics like that, like to be friends with them or anything, except for like boys and they were mixed with African-American. Like they were still black at the end of the day. I'm in the military, so I meet a lot of them. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Um, would you guys ever do a meet and greet in Kansas City? P.S. Love you guys. Shout out to Risa underscore Janae. Um, we love you. Um, and yeah, we'll Kansas probably do City. A, a meet and greet everywhere. We want to do a tour, y'all, but y'all got to give us some time. We got to get a little bit bigger to do a tour. Indeed, indeed. Um, if you were stranded on an island, what would be three things you'd have with you? None can be forms of transportation. Food. Food for sure. A girl. Same. My best friend. Boom! That's my nigga. Food, a girl, and my best friend. We will live our best lives. Best lives. <laughs> when you were younger, what were your dreams, goals, and aspirations? I wanted to be a basketball player. Y'all wanted to go to the WNBA when I was younger. I wanted to be a forensic scientist. I always wanted to be a forensic scientist. Like uh, CSI and, and that stuff was my addiction when I was younger. And then after that, I wanted to be an anesthesiologist. Why y'all do that? You know you can still do that. What, be an anesthesiologist? Yes, ma'am. I don't wanna, I can't give speeches. Oh. It's, it's, a, it's a little different uh, with us doing like television and stuff like that and even if we did television and we had an audience it would be a little different because we would still get to be ourselves you know what i'm saying in a speech you have to be professional you have to make sure that your all your eyes are dotted and your t's are crossed you know what i'm saying i don't i don't want that i don't want that pressure okay <laughs> if you had 12.8 million dollars what would you do with it i would pay off every bill that i have that's the beginning like pay it all off and go shopping and then and invest a large amount i would i would most likely invest yes so of that course. my money can keep making money i would probably invest in property most likely because property fluctuates the most good choice i would also do a lot of shopping for myself do a lot of shopping for my mama i'll mm -hmm. get my mama out for sure for sure for sure i can keep the rest of my bank account and then further on think about this stuff i would most likely donate to charity my heart is with like dyslexic kids autistic kids stuff like that so I would most likely be involved with that I will start my own charity I wanted to open up a YMCA for uh, disabled kids oh bestie what state do y'all live in Michigan Michigan that's the that's the mitten at the top of the United States to the right it look like this it look like what this <laughs> don't it don't Michigan look like this yeah <laughs> are y'all going to have separate channels no I, I, I don't plan on it no time ever uh, at I can't. no time soon at this point. Right. We're building a, a like a brand for ourselves to be together. A brand of Ray and Bree. Right. And especially since we plan on like being on television one day, it's like we just why not just stay together? We plan on being in each other's lives forever. Period. We're not gonna do all this extra stuff, breaking up and all of that. Nah. If we break up, it's that's that's a real good thing. Like, cause at the end of the day, like first of all, our fame and stuff like that is is a non-factor to our real relationship. That's good. We built the relationship before we did this, which yeah. is most important. So if, if, if at the end of the day, if YouTube ever got in the way of me and Raven, this YouTube thing will be deaded mm -hmm. so that me and her can get our lives together. So uh, that's that. Yeah, y'all don't see us outside of the YouTube thing and we're pretty the same. <laughs> <laughs> the love is here. Okay. Maybe a little worse. I think they were a little. A little gayer. Like y'all, we stay on each other's phone every day. Mm -hmm. we, we don't have to say something. We to don't each other. make videos every day, y'all. We make videos maybe once a week. 
literally maybe once a week sometimes once every two weeks we do this and we talk every day so and we hang out outside of those days that we do youtube just yep. so you know <laughs> so no i don't think the whole separate channel if we ever did separate channels it would probably be to brand our individual talents like she does graphic design and that type of thing i do photography and stuff like that so it will be only for those benefits i don't really know what i would do by myself so <laughs> would you ever have a one night stand uh, uh, I've had them. Same. What a waste of time. Uh, now at this point in life, no. But they've been. I'm there. straight. <laughs> <laughs> For what? Our nationalities. I am black. Nothing more, nothing less. Same. I'm it ain't no extra stuff. It might be some Indian far down the line in life, but nothing I could claim. Like I couldn't get it off on my on my school bills. So majority majority of me is black and white. All that extra stuff don't matter. That's all I'm saying. Like, <laughs> I'm mixed with other things that don't matter because I can't find it in my bloodstream. It's white and black. Would you date or on one of your subscribers? You will have to really show out, but yes. Yes. No shade. No shade to Damo and Chrissy yet again, but... Y'all see where this is going. Yeah, she was famous right before Chrissy. I mean, before um, Chrissy came into her life and she came for clout, honestly. If I dated a subscriber, they would have to already be established without me. Yes. Like they will already or they don't them. or they don't want to be in the fame at all. They yeah. would have to have I would love to see their game plan for their ten year out. Oh, you feel me? Oh, where do y'all shop favorite stores? Zoomies. Everywhere in the mall, y'all. I'm an online shopper at this point. I am in my too. Life. Like I shop at ASOS. Somebody keep telling me it's ASOS, but we're gonna say it's ASOS today. ASOS, ASOS, don't shop there. Period. Okay. No, pause. They're a good store. They're a good online, you know, shopping place. Raven just so happened to have had a bad experience because she got things during the holiday and they a little clustered, you know, so they struggling. I ordered my stuff before Thanksgiving. I got it. The holidays. Anyways, I ordered it before Thanksgiving. I got my stuff of, like the day before I was going out for my birthday and then they sent me the wrong thing. They sent me the wrong thing. I I don't have nothing to say. I haven't had any problem. It's more so like a brand thing. So wherever you can find like Nike, Adidas, all Jordan, stuff mm -hmm, like that. Mm -hmm. I'll shop there like Foot Locker and yep. Macy's and stuff like that. I'll shop. I like the men's, the men's section in Forever 21. Yes. Forever 21's men's section go crazy. Zoomies, PacSun. Mm -hmm. I like those places. I like some stuff from the villa. I'm not sure if you guys are really familiar with that. I don't know how far branched out the villa is. I don't know, y'all. Whatever, whatever is swaggy. I don't think that we should put um, a store on what's swaggy. Just yeah, we really don't, honestly, because if, if me and Raven walked into a girl's store and we saw like a dope girl blazer, we probably would buy that boy. Period. I bought an Avenger shirt from Five and Below, y'all. My Avenger shirt, I wore it in one of the videos. And like the colors popped really well and I put a dog ass outfit to it. That, that shirt was five dollars. So really, I mean. It's just whatever story. So happen to walk into. So happen to find something that we think is cute. Like, I like branded stuff. So like Brie got this Calvin Klein shirt on from Macy's. I'm a Calvin Klein type of person. Tommy Hilfiger polo. So we, we, where you can find those things, you feel me? Why do we get certain piercings? I'm not a piercing person. Raven is. Um, the only piercings that I got is like my nose, uh, my my ear, um, right here. Uh, the tragus? I guess. I, I only got it on one side, and then I got my belly button pierced. You know it's bad because I think that I I feel like I got my piercings except for this one because of people. People influenced me. My, my ex-girlfriend influenced me to get my belly button pierced, and I ended up liking it. Um, my <laughs> best friend influenced me to get my nose pierced, and I ended up liking it. I went. I was there. You see piercings on people, and you like them. You know what I'm saying? I saw a, a guy. He had both of these pierced, and he had diamond earrings in them. And I'm like, that shit is cute as fuck. So, I chose to get one. I don't know what made me do it. My mom has everything pierced just about. So, like, I always watch. When I grew up, I always see, like, all of that so when I turned 16 I'm like I want my belly bone pierced and then I was gay so I wanted my tongue pierced so I did that that was like my first piercing outside of like my ears then but I think I got my nose after my eyebrow I think I got my eyebrow first you gotta remember that one too I got my eyebrow pierced because one of my friends got it one of my good friends got her eyebrow pierced and I'm like I want my eyebrow pierced that's sweet so I got my eyebrow pierced I don't have that no more I took it out before I went to the military um I think nose piercings are really cute um, so I got one pierced. Chris Brown has both of his nostrils pierced, so I, I pierced the other one. I pierced my nipples because I think that that's cute. When I take my clothes off, oh, your nipples is pierced. Oh, I know. Like, 
I want my vagina pierced too. So oh, I want mine too. I want my hood pierced. The Christina pierced, and that's what I want. Yeah. So I don't know. I just think it's cute. Like I, I'm a body. I'm like a body art type of person. Tattoos and piercings are cute to me. So. Indeed. But how do you guys stay focused and not worry about the hate? I don't care about what people think. You really don't. <laughs> In the beginning, I was a little sensitive because I, I have a problem with people coming for my intelligence. Like, or or coming for things that they claim I, we said and we did not say. You or know if they talk about stuff they have no idea about. Exactly. But since as we're getting a little bit bigger and everything, most of the time I don't see it. And if I do see it, I just don't care enough because I'm doing better than you. So most of these people who have something to say that's negative, you're either jealous because you're not in the same position that we are. Mm -hmm. Or you just hate it. Like, there's some, some form of hate that you just have. Like whatever it is and that's gonna be your own issues that you having within yourself so you're gonna take that out on other people and I, i'm not arguing with somebody like that because i'm living at this point in my life i'm very very happy I'm, I'm genuinely happy with how my life is going so hey on sis and sis is gender neutral so whoever is hating hey on sis we got some questions like of things that we already answered like how we met i will do this guys because people be cussing me out about not putting links at the bottom of our videos i'm sorry I forget, but at the end of the day, I'll put the link to the uh, How We Met video. Basically, just to sum it up, I ain't like her, and then the next thing you know, we liked each other, and the next thing you know, we're here today. Mm -hmm. Basically, would you ever get matching best friend tattoo? Yep. Yes, that's the plan. I don't know if that makes it super gay or what. <laughs> we are. Fame changes things and people. Do you think once y'all get bigger, you guys will change? I feel like we'll, I don't know. I think we're gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and say that we're not gonna adjust to the change. Like some things that we're doing now, it's going to be harder to keep up with uh -huh. when we get bigger. Like right now, it's a little bit easier to respond to messages and, and DMs and all of that type of stuff and interact with people on a more personal level because it's not billions of people doing it, millions right. of people doing it. We, you know, it's right now we're at like a hundreds of people level, but it's going to be once it hits like thousands and thousands of people who are always trying to talk to us, it's gonna be harder to keep up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to vow to myself and vow to y'all that I'm gonna do everything that I can to make sure that I don't switch up in a in a way that's gonna make my image look negative and make me take away from where I came from. Mm -hmm. Cause I don't ever want to be different than how I am now. I'm very, very humble and I'm very, very blessed. So I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure I keep that mindset and not let the fame get to me. But um, hypothetically, it, it does happen though, y'all. You know, y'all gotta be patient. Like, bear with us. Because this is... Fame is new to anybody, y'all. So if we get famous, I'm still going to be me. Like, I'm still going to be me. I'm still going to show love. But am I going to be able to answer everybody? No. Like, I can't answer everybody now. And versus that a few months ago, I was able to literally answer everybody. But I get shit all the time. So it's like, y'all just gotta bear with us. Yeah, I feel like um, once we get it like a little bit bigger, we'll probably go live on like our Instagrams a little bit more and stuff like that. Have you ever had a bad kiss? Yes. Yeah, we actually also did that video too. Would you date someone taller than you? Yep, I'm little. I don't got a no. choice most of the time. No, no, I'm five nine. Mm -hmm. Everybody needs to be shorter than me. <laughs> well, that was our little Q and A. Y'all know y'all can always send us more questions. We will do our best to answer them. I think we're gonna try to do like Q and As at monumental points. You know what I'm saying? So like, we hit 20k for y'all. Here's a Q and A. This is for all of you supporters who you know are new to us, who don't feel like binge watching us, so y'all have unanswered questions. We understand because I ain't binge watching nobody else. So it's understandable. We love y'all. Thank y'all for getting us to 20K. We got more love, more stuff coming for y'all in the new year. Make sure y'all go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell all of them. We want to thank you for sitting watching the video. It's more to come, I promise. Hit that bell and leave a comment, though. Say you want to cuss it, well, we deliver like dominoes. You smell what we cooking. If you can't show it, go clear your nose. We had you laughing. Where's Khalifa hot with no smoking? Please don't watch the video and eat shit. You might choke. Notification squad, we looking where you at, though. R&B gang over everything we lit, folks. Go ahead and so We know you twerking through this outro. Patience for the next video, cause shit, we out, bro.